Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Goosebumps Horror Town. In this video, we get to talk about something that I've been dying to talk about since the beginning of June, but as you all know, we had some problems, so we're going to play the world of pretend. This is part zero of the introduction as we unveil, or I shall unveil, what is the limited time event 7. This is the seventh one in this game, and thus this is my, um, well, we'll be talking about it. So, when we first kind of started off, we had hints already based on their other previous games and seen through patterns that we kind of give a good guess what we might be getting. Uh, and that would be that of their other game, Snoopy's Town Tales. Uh, every year around this time, they do a camping update. And the interesting thing about that is that R.L. Stein, when it comes to making the Goosebump books, a lot of it is aimed at kids, and camping is one of those elements, like school, all that. It's typical fanfare, so whenever they want to do an event like that, it's guaranteed that's what's going to end up happening. So it's a given at this point. So the question remains of what camping story are they going to adapt? And, well, there's a few obvious choices. One of them being, you know, Horror Camp Jelly Jam. But I think the biggest one that most of us kind of knew was going to come, and the reveal anyways, is that of Welcome to Camp Nightmare. This is an interesting story because of how this started. So, the story of this one is a kid goes into this camp called Camp Nightmoon, and it seems very fishy and very weird. The story kind of starts it off like the kids um, go into this camping ground. It seems weird. Um, the friend, or the kid there, he's noticing his friends or, that he made during the camping experience are disappearing out of nowhere. And you're kind of curious of like, okay, what's going on? It's, this seems very abnormal. And sure enough, uh, eventually it got to a point where they even told stories about this mysterious beast called Saber. And in the stories, you never really got to see what Saber was. It was just a mythos of being like, oh, Saber must have gotten, you know, like those scary ghost stories that they tell to one another. But the episode version, and I'm going to be careful with this because of uh, copyright, because YouTube's so great when it comes to that kind of stuff. <clears throat> Anyways, reasons. Um, so, in the episode, I think it was a two-parter, but um, you actually get to see what Saber looked like, and I'm going to talk about the big reveal, the big twist, as it were, with this story. But at the end of the day, the kid comes out and he pulls, I think, a crossbow or a gun at the council, at the as the counselor or the person running the camp, and he's like, "I'm not gonna, I'm not fooling for your tricks anymore." And then he shoots the guy. And at first, you're like, "Oh no, he just killed the guy. He just killed some guy." All right? That that's your initial thought. But no, turns out nothing happened. In fact, it came with the, you passed! And then the kid's like, wait, what? And then he finds out that his uh, friends that he made were actually totally safe. The, uh, in the story, you know, Saber didn't make, didn't exist, but in the TV episode, it's shown that, oh, it was just an animatronic puppet thing, see? And you might be wondering, what what, what is this whole thing about? Well, turns out his parents were explorers and they wanted to take their son out with them but they needed to make sure he was uh ready to do so and the only way that he can do that is to go on this bizarre camping experience and learn the skills that he needs in order to survive the dangerous thing that they're going and it turns out that they're actually exploring to another planet that's nearby that's supposed to be very terrible inhabitant and they're about to head up. And you want to know what the twist of this whole thing was? In the episode, it was completely stupid. But in the in the when you read the book, it kind of read off like, oh, 
you had no idea that you th these people probably weren't what you're thinking because they didn't think they described it. But in the episode, they basically turn to their son and say, you see that planet ray up there? And all of a sudden you see the Earth. And it's like, that's Earth. That's where we're going to. And, and then it's like, wait, 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 what? Are you telling me that they're in the same planet as Sesame Street is? Where Elmo must be play that, that game I played with Elmo? That, that's where they are? Huh. So I guess that's where Sesame Street is located. That's an old stream joke, by the way. If you want to know the reference, uh, go click the link I just provided up above. Anyways, um, yeah, so it turns out that they were aliens this entire time. So that's the story of Welcome to Camp Nightmare. It's interesting because... In this part, well, we're only getting one new character, and that's Saber, as you can see right on the corner over there. And this time around, he's in the story. He he's just a he's just a myth. In the TV show, he was an animatronic, and in this game, he's a real life big boy. <laughs> that's the only way to explain it. And the way they went around with this story is very intriguing, to say the least. So. I think that's about it for the introduction to this episode. Nothing really more for me to kind of drag on. This is just more of an update video. Oh wait, there is one thing I should say before I move on. Uh, a fellow YouTube or uh, user or a fan of mine, the uh, watch or follower, whatever you call them, um, they've been watching my videos for a while and they've been, you know, helping me with suggestions, things like that. They actually always asked me. How come I don't check the Monster Diner or the Mini Mysteries Clubs or things like that? Because if you recall, back in the Invasion of the Body Squeezers and the Halloween update, I used to go there and click on the stuff. The reason why is because in recent updates, they've all provided the crafting, limited time crafting items in the promenade aka the event area so they don't exclude anything outside and don't worry when it comes to missing stuff don't worry about that because unless I show off in this video I unless there's something new I will not show it off in this video so don't worry if I don't show anything in the monster diner that means there's nothing really to show in the monster diner as you've seen in my previous episodes anytime I notice something new or something interesting, I will bring it up in my videos and bring it up into the, the, the you, you know, you've seen, you've seen the videos examples before. And to bring it up, when it comes to this first part coming up, I am going to just um, let the videos speak for themselves and I'm going to let you see me go through the, the different, um, the monster diner and all that stuff, the craftable areas. Just to show you that nothing's really there. So that way you can hopefully understand. Again, I think the reason they did this was to make it more convenient for people. So, yeah. I, I think it's for the best, to tell you the truth. So, I am going to be looking forward to seeing you in this next part, which is going to be the first part to this episode, which is Welcome to Camp Nightmare. So I'm in very intriguing to see what they're going to do with this event. So... Until then, uh, that's about it. So let's get going. I'll see you in part one. Have a good one.